Number six, platypus. It seems this terrible creature doesn't know what it's doing with its biology. It has hair, but also a beak. It lays eggs, but also produces milk, despite having no nipples. And if all of that wasn't enough, these horrifying animals have half-inch spurs on their tiny little feet that produce venom. Not just any old venom either, but the most long-lasting and painful venom in the animal kingdom. According to people who have been spurred by an angry platypus, the pain is immediate, completely devastating, and unending. With that aside, no painkiller can be used against it. Not even morphine can stop the pain. Nothing works to stop it except the complete numbing of the affected area. The muscles in the area will wither away and you'll find yourself shivering, sweating, and throwing up from the pain and the venom. Worst of all is that this excruciating pain can last for up to three months. You'll suffer, vomit, and be crippled by pain every day for 90 long, long days. You won't die, but you're going to wish you had. Number five, black widow spider. Surprisingly enough, the black widow spider is actually very meek for a horrid little murder bug. These strangely pretty creatures aren't exactly party animals. They're not aggressive, they just want to chill in their web, sipping venom martinis. But if you accidentally sit on one or grab it while reaching for your phone, it might retaliate. The black widow has some of the most potent venom in the arachnid world. In high concentrations, it is enough to kill a healthy adult human, and the way it kills is very horrifying. When a black widow bites, it releases a toxin into the blood, and from there, the toxin takes control over the nervous system, leaving you with body-wide muscle pain and cramps that can last up to 24 hours even with treatment. You can recover, of course, if you get medical help in time, but those unlucky few who don't end up having a horrible, horrible death. Number four, the bullet ant, a creature that sounds like it belongs in a Marvel comic right alongside Spider-Man and Ant-Man but no capes here, just a tiny insect with a sting that'll make you question life itself. The bullet ant, in other words, the Paraponera clavata, is found in the steamy rainforests of Central and South America. This reddish-brown ant is about 1.8 to 2.5 centimeters long, that's roughly the size of a thumbtack. But don't let its modest dimensions fool you, it's got a sting that'll make you shout hallelujah. Why the name? Well, when this ant stings you, it feels as if you've been shot, Yes, you heard that right, a gunshot. The venom contains neurotoxins that hijack your nervous system. And the pain? Oh, it's deep, throbbing, and burning. Just like a breakup text from a ghosting ex. In Venezuela, they call it the 24-hour ant. Not because it delivers pizza, although that would be epic, but because the pain lingers for a whole day. Imagine waking up, sipping your morning coffee, and still feeling like you've been slapped by a cactus. Yep. That's the bullet ant experience. The bullet ant injects a venom called ponorotoxin. Sounds fancy, right? This venom messes with your nervous system, causing uncontrollable trembling, swelling, and a heart rate that thinks it's in a marathon. Number three, did you know that there is a fish that can painfully kill you? Not sharks or anything with teeth. I'm talking about a simple, lowly, kind of ugly fish that creeps along the ocean floor known simply as the stonefish because, well, it looks like a stone. So picture this. One morning, you're strolling along the beach, admiring the beautiful sunrise. Then suddenly, you step on something that feels like a Lego brick. Unfortunately for you, you look down and you see an ugly piece of rock with eyes and needle-like spines. Congratulations, my friend. You've just encountered a stonefish. Now, these fish aren't content with merely being ugly, although they've got that covered. No, they've evolved to be the Olympic gold medalists in the venom category. Their spines are hypodermic needles filled with a cocktail of misery. When you unwittingly impale your foot on a stonefish spine, it feels as though you're getting a surprise acupuncture session from the devil himself. Stonefish releases venom made up of proteins and peptides into your bloodstream that is similar to cobra venom. However, the stonefish not only suffocates you by shutting down your lungs, it also causes intense pain, seizures, extreme muscle spasms, heart damage, and then paralysis that makes you regret stepping foot on the beach. Number two, meet the cone snail, mother nature's way of saying, well, let me create a venomous sea snail that's basically an excellent vessel of pain. So you're taking a walk along a tropical beach, the sun kissing your skin, waves gently lapping at your toes, and then out of nowhere, this seemingly innocent snail glides by. It's like a tiny, colorful ice cream cone with a shell. Cute, right? Wrong. This little devil packs a punch that would make a heavyweight boxer jealous. 
First off, let's talk about its weapon of choice, the modified radula tooth. This tooth is barbed like a medieval torture device and can extend from the snail's head as a tiny snail javelin. And oh boy, its venom is a neurotoxic cocktail called conotoxins. These little toxins sneak into your nervous system, block signals, and turn your muscles into mush. Suddenly, you're flopping around like a fish out of water, wondering if you accidentally stepped on a seashell or got stung by a cone snail. Spoiler alert, it's the latter. But wait, what's the point of all this venom? The cone snail isn't just a sadistic artist, it's a hunter. Its prey includes marine worms, small fish, and other snails, because apparently snails have grudges too. When it spots a tasty morsel, it shoots its venomous harpoon, paralyzing the poor victim. Then it leisurely slurps up its paralyzed dinner. Besides its heinous purpose, scientists are eyeing it for pain relief. Yep, you heard me right. That venom might just be the secret ingredient in your next painkiller. Number 1. Stingray This creature has a venom so painful that it should be called a give-me-a-gun-and-I'll-shoot-myself-ray. They're flat, disc-shaped creatures with fins that scream, I'm ready for my close-up. Their tails are long, thin, and tapered, as a fencer's a pay. But instead of a polite, on guard, they go full-on, sting mode. Its venom is not necessarily fatal, but it hurts like a knife in the ass. What about the ingredients? The venom contains enzymes with names that sound as if they were secret codes. We have the 5-nucleotidase and phosphodiesterase. And as a bonus, serotonin, the neurotransmitter that makes smooth muscles contract. Imagine your muscles doing the cha-cha with cramps. Stingrays are picky about their victims. They mostly sting people in their feet, ankles, and legs. It's like they're saying, hey, nice flip-flops. Mind if I jab you? But sometimes they get creative and aim for other body parts. Maybe they're just bored with the usual menu. If you're stung, don't panic. Unless the barb has pierced your throat, neck, or chest. In which case, call 911 and pray that they arrive before it's too late.